let G be a group and ABC elements in G. Prove that if AB is equal to AC, then B is equal to C. Let's go ahead and go through this carefully. The proof. So we'll start by assuming that this is true. So suppose that AB is equal to AC. And now we have to show that B is equal to C. So we know something. Um, we would like to get rid of the A. We would basically want to cancel it. And so what we can do is we can use the fact that A is in G because since A is in G and G is a group, we know The inverse of A, A inverse, is also in G. In particular, it exists. We can use its powers to help cancel the A. So then, what we'll do is we'll basically multiply both sides of this equation on the left. So we have A inverse, parentheses AB, equals A inverse, parentheses AC. And in order to get rid of the A, we have to use associativity now. So then, let me just say so, we can use associativity on the left and on the right and write it as follows. A inverse A times B equals A inverse A times C. And this is by associativity, right? because these are elements in a group, A, B, and C, and so they certainly satisfy the associativity property. In the next line, uh, we can realize that um, this is equal to the identity, right? A inverse times A uh, is the identity, so this is equal to EB equal to EC, and this is because a inverse is the inverse of A. That's what it means uh, for A inverse to be the inverse of A, that A inverse A is equal to the identity. And then because E is the identity, E times B is B, likewise E times C is C. And this is because E is the identity. And so that completes the proof. Put a little box here. So again, um, let's just go over it really quickly. So we start by assuming that uh, AB is equal to AC. And the goal here is to get rid of the A. So we would just like to cancel it like we do in you know normal math when we're dealing with numbers. But here we have a group, so we have to be a little bit more um, careful. So since A is in G, we know uh, because G is a group, the inverse of A is also in G. What we can do is we can multiply both sides of this equation on the left by A inverse, and it's important to have the parentheses. Okay? Then we can invoke the power of associativity to rearrange uh, the parentheses. And then because uh, A inverse is the inverse of A, when you multiply them together, you get the identity. And then because E is the identity, E times B is B and E times C is C. And that completes the proof. There's other ways to write the proof. You can write it um, in a cleaner way, like in a one-line fashion. Uh, but this is perhaps the way that someone who was learning algebra uh, would figure it out on their own. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.